bucket trucks with stabilizing outriggers are required by law to have an interlock device which does not allow the aerial tower to be operated unless the outriggers are deployed onto solid ground in order to maintain stability from a rollover condition. This is typically done by the use of a series of limit switches that are activated as each outrigger is set into position. When all of the outriggers are deployed, the series of electrical limit switches send the signal enabling the aerial tower to be elevated from the transport position and operated normally. If any one of the outriggers is not deployed fully, the aerial tower interlock system is disabled and the unit will not operate. There are instances in the field where one or more of the outriggers may not be deployed to the amount necessary to activate the outrigger limit switch. This can occur due to uneven terrain, a curb on one side of the truck, or other ground conditions requiring mats extending the outrigger to the point where the limit switch activates may result in the truck chassis being outside the truck levelness criteria thus requiring unsafe excessive cribbing under the opposite side outriggers. There are also instances where the limit switches fail to operate properly, causing the interlock system to remain inactive. In the past, when the outrigger switches caused the aerial device to be inoperative, operators would physically bypass the outrigger switches in order to get the aerial tower to work. The bypassing of the outrigger switches creates a safety hazard for the next operator using the aerial device. The operator may forget to deploy the outriggers and thus create a rollover accident while using the elevated aerial device. The bypassing of the outrigger switches has been done in different ways. Some people cut the wires to the outrigger switches and add a jumper wire to bypass them. Others have installed a toggle switch, which bypasses the outrigger switch. Either method can leave the outrigger interlock feature permanently disabled. The ANSI standards for aerial devices allows for an outrigger override switch, but the standard requires that the switch be self-disabling so that the outrigger interlock system functions properly for the next unit setup. Utility Truck Equipment and Parts Override Switch with Automatic Disabling Feature is a patented design used in aerial bucket truck applications. The override switch consists of a momentary push-button switch which activates a latching relay. When the aerial tower is set up in such a way that one of the outriggers is not deployed fully and the outrigger interlock remains inactive, the momentary override switch is pressed causing the latching relay to activate a bypass circuit around the outrigger interlock circuit, thus enabling the aerial tower to be elevated and operated normally. When the aerial tower is folded back into the transport position and the outriggers are retracted, the latching relay resets itself to the normally open condition, disabling the outrigger interlock bypass. This makes the original outrigger interlock operation functional as it was originally designed. In order to bypass the outrigger interlock circuit, the momentary override button switch must be pressed to activate the system.